in Medway in North Kent. Just down the road is the historic Chatham Docks where the Royal Navy used to be based in uh, centuries ago. The reason we're here today is because as you can see behind me there's a wooden fence uh, that is basically the perimeter of a construction site. Construction has begun on a new mega mosque for this area. Now why is a new mosque being built in the first place? There's two mosques in this area which we visited in previous times and they are, according to news reports, bursting at the seams. So if you're a Muslim, uh, a devout Muslim, and you move into an area, you've got to be able to frequent a mosque for your religious needs. The fact that the local mosques that are already here are bursting at the seams means they're building this so that further Islamic immigration can happen in this area. So this area when this mega mosque is built, this whole area is going to be subject to further and more Islamic immigration. Now, they're going to build this mosque, apparently, in the Byzantine style. Um, that means it's going to be big and decorative and colourful. But I find that quite cheeky, because Byzanti Byzantium was a Christian empire that was destroyed by the Muslims in the 1400s. But myself and a group of Britain First activists have been pounding the streets around here for a few hours, giving out these leaflets, say no to the Gillingham Mosque, explaining what's going to happen, why it's needed. The locals are up in arms. As you can see, behind there is half the car park, and the locals are already moaning and up in arms because there's not enough car parking spaces for their local needs. They've taken half this car park, and they're going to build a mega mosque there. The locals are up in arms, but funnily enough, surprise, surprise, the local Lib Lab Con councillors have forced the planning application through. So Britain First is going to be holding multiple days of action in this area and leaflet drops and uh, the campaign is just beginning. Uh, please stay tuned for